Hello everyone, this is Manish Chauhan from Jagunvestor.com. Today, I am going to talk about a very famous stock example, which is Wipro. Now, you must have seen this WhatsApp forward and, you know, email forwards where we, they talk about 10,000 rupees investment in Wipro in 1980 has become 500 crores today or 700 crores and 1,000 crores, right? So, I just thought let's decode this success story for a common man and let's try to, you know, understand some of the dynamics of this example. Why am I doing this is a lot of youngsters when they enter stock market because of these kind of examples, they set a very wrong kind of expectation. They only look at the bright side and they just feel that, you know, making a very big amount of money is extremely easy in stock market. All you have to do is just pick a good stock and keep for 30, 40 years and you will like have a hundred, 200, 500 crore rupees, but that is not true. So let's uh, get into this. So these kind of, you know, uh, YouTube videos and uh, so many stories are there which you have seen. So first of all, let's see some more examples because it's not just Wipro. There are many examples. Any big company which is already there from last 20, 30, 40 years, you will see similar kind of stories. Maybe Wipro example is a little bit extreme, but similar kind of success stories are there. So for example, uh, ITC example, right? 10,000 rupees invested has become 30 crore rupees or 40 crore rupees. Sipla 10,000 has become 95 crores. Infosys 10,000 has become 1.5 crores. Renbaxi 19 crores. And then HDFC Bank just 1 lakh invested has become 8 crore rupees in last 25 years. So there are many examples like this. Now, uh, let me just show you how it works because, uh, so let me just show you the whole thing how it works. So let's say a person invested 10,000 rupees one time. And the uh, shares he gets is 100 shares because the face value was 100 rupees. We are talking about Wipro in this case. So what happens every few years, maybe a bonus is declared where, you know, someone who is having one share, they are giving one, they are given one additional share or many times a uh, stock split happens where one stock gets splitted into uh, many smaller uh, units. So like this, a person who was having 100 shares, maybe after one or two years, they will have 200 shares and 400 shares. And like this, if you just track the whole history, in 2017, uh, it was around 1.92 crore shares. So the same person who had invested 10,000 rupees, now he has 1.92 crore shares. Okay, I've just picked this from net. Maybe there are some small mistakes, but I hope you got the point. Now, if you just multiply that by the current uh, share price, you will get 1300 crores. Now just ask yourself, is this example having any fake information or anything wrong? I would say no, this is correct. This is 100% right information. And someone who had kept, who had invested 10,000 rupees in 1980 and he or she must have just, if, if they had kept this for 30, 40 years, they must be having a very, very huge wealth. That is true, nothing wrong in it. And actually you will see some of the example. You will often come across few people, few names and some uh, in the news, you will hear some people who have done this. For example, this famous example in case of Wipro. I don't know if it is a true story or wrong story, but let's assume it is the right one. Let's not get into it. Even if it is the case, we have to ask the question, why don't we see it happening more often. Why don't we see it as a, as a common example? How tough it is that a person has, you know, picked a good stock and they have kept it for 40 years. Why are we not seeing this in real life? Many, many more examples, right? We see some of the examples. How practical is this amazing return story for a common investor? Let's say you want to again repeat this. Is it practically possible? I would say in theory it is because you take a stock, you buy it, just keep it for 30, 40 years, right? And you will be like a multimillionaire or maybe a billionaire. So the first thing is survivorship bias. This is the first point. The, f the problem with this, these kind of example is that we are talking about the success stories. We are not taking 100, 200, 500 or 1000 examples and then tracking all of them and then seeing, you know, what happened with all of them. Because if you track just the success stories, that's what you got, right? You you pick the success story and hence you're talking about it. If you see on your screen, there are so many examples how the stock has like got destroyed and the value wealth has just eroded, right? Just see the example of Cox and Kings at 99.4%, which means that if you had invested like 
uh, 10,000 rupees, you would be having what 60 rupees today. That's all. This is the stock price. If you had uh, Reliance Capital, you would have eroded all the wealth, right? In the last four years, it's talking about four years, but yeah, I, I think you got the example. So if we talk, if we talk about two specific examples, just see this Reliance Capital. Just see the graph, how it has created wealth for many years, and then you know there was some problem with the company, and then all the wealth got destroyed. Now if just think about a person who bought the stock in the start and for 10, 15 years, he or she kept the stock and they said that, wow, what an amazing wealth creator. And let me just forget about it and let's just keep this stock for some more years. They would have just lost the money. Another good example is Unitech. The same thing happened. So uh, the problem is how do you make sure that you are picking Wipro in the first place? How is it possible that someone had picked the Wipro that how would they know that in the next 40 years it will do really really amazing only now when we look back we can tell that right not in the start. So that is number one issue survivorship bias. The second thing is about controlling the emotion. It's very easy to say invested 10,000 rupees and kept for 40 years and it has become 1300 rupees. Maybe if someone bought the stock and they have died, let's say, and the shares are kept somewhere in the house and after 30, 40 years, the children are looking at it and now uh, its value has become like this, let's say Wipro example only. Maybe it is possible, but just imagine a person who bought Wipro for 10,000 rupees, how would be their journey for 40 years, right? Just think about it. What if, uh, let's see this example, how will you react if you had invested, just think about yourself, okay, you, it is 1980 or let's say 2021 only and you had invested 10,000 rupees in, in some company and it becomes 1 lakh rupees in just 1 or 2 years, right? Here we talk about 12% return and 13% return in, in a year and fixed deposits are is giving how much? 4%, 5% in a year, which means that in fixed deposit, your money will take like or 20 years to double, right? And in, in uh, PPF, let's say it will take few years to double the money. And here, if this stock gives you 10 times in just one year, how will you control yourself by, by not, of, uh, not selling it, right? This is 10x money. And what if this 1 lakh rupees now becomes 5 lakh rupees again in 2-3 years? Then just think about the human emotions, right? Okay, maybe you are able to control it. Maybe at this point you say, okay, I'll still keep it. I'm very, you know, I, 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 my willpower is very strong. What if it falls to 50,000 rupees? What if that 5 lakh rupees becomes 50,000 rupees? What about the regret? And now is this 50,000 if it becomes 2 lakh, 3 lakh? Is it really in control of a normal human being to stay such a long period? I don't think so. Uh, so... Understand that there are so many different kind of emotions. There is worry, there is fear, there's regret, frustration, and a person goes through all these, you know, cycles of emotions when they invest in stock market. That is the reason why very less number of people are able to really create, you know, massive wealth in, in a stock market. The point I'm trying to make is that, you know, if you are a robot, if you are a machine, maybe you will sit for 30 40 years but if you are a human definitely at some point of time you will you know redeem or part redeem or you will just get out because you want to you know protect your uh, your profits right very few people are able to do uh, the investment for 30 40 50 years there are examples i know many people and it is possible but not for the masses that's the point i'm trying to make uh, so Coming to the same Wipro example, just see this. Wipro stock in 2000, year 2000, it was around 240, 200 rupees. And from there, it went down. See the volatility, what is happening for next 20 years. Can someone just see their wealth going down so much and at such a massive level? Maybe if you had invested 5000 rupees, you will say, okay, it has become 500 rupees, I'll just keep it. But some, imagine someone who has seen his wealth grow from few thousand or few lakh rupees to five crore, 10 crore. And now it is going down to two crores and one crore. They will definitely go get out of the stock, right? So I think I have made the point. It is extremely important, uh, extremely tough to control the emotions. Okay. So 
what I'm trying to say is how should a retail investor invest actually? What should you do? There are four tips. The first thing is that don't depend on a single stock. If you are choosing one stock or two stock or maybe three stock in a, in your portfolio, it's extremely concentrated. You don't know what will happen. If something good happens, you will be like multimillionaire. If something bad happens, you will just lose all the money if you buy and hold the, the portfolio. So just make sure you have a very well diversified portfolio where your money is divided into like 20, 30, uh, 15, 20, 30 stocks at least so that, you know, uh, if some few stocks will do very, very well, few stocks will not do well, but overall at an aggregate level, you will make a very good return. This is the way to go for a common investor. The second thing is have a managed portfolio. Don't just buy and hold it for 30, 40 years without looking at it. Someone should be looking at it. It can be you, it can be someone else who is analyzing things, who is taking a decision. Okay, we want to keep this stock in the portfolio. We want to get out of this portfolio. I'm not saying do it every week or month, but yeah, every few years you have to just reanalyze the portfolio. That's what I'm talking about. Uh, and this fascination of, you know, 10,000 becoming 500 crores. Why do you want to wait for, you know, so long? The point is, if you are doing equity investing, you are doing it so that your wealth grows and you can use that money for your life situations, right? So take out money. There is nothing wrong in taking out the money when the bull run has happened and your money has given 10x, 20x, 30x. Some part of it you should definitely take out and use it in your life. Buy a house, go on a vacation, uh, put that money into something more safer because your life situation keeps on changing. I had ma I had uh, put this uh, tweet few days back on for the same Vipro example and there were so many people who were talking about, you know, if a, at 30, if someone invests 10,000 rupees, now at 70, he will have 500 crore, crore rupees. What is the use of it? He's already, you know, near deathbed and all that. You don't have to wait for so long. There is, you don't, it's fine if it becomes 100 crore rupees, right? Take, keep taking out money in between and use it. It's, I would say it is kind of a foolish thing to, you know, wait for so long because yes, what will you do with 500 crores at the end? You have to use it in between. I think you got the point. And finally, don't get paranoid about the highest returns. Okay. This talk, it is the same point actually, what I'm trying to say. Don't try to maximize your wealth to such a level, right? Don't get irrational about it. Um, okay, so where to invest for the long term? See, equity has is one of the best wealth creation tool for a common man, right? If you are in a job, if you are in a secure job, then you know your salary, your income is fixed. But if you want to really make a huge wealth, I think I think you have to be in equity. So where to invest for long term? One of the most famous example and most appropriate thing for common masses most of the people is mutual fund it is a managed portfolio by a fund manager so you can invest in mutual fund you don't have to do anything if your knowledge is less if you don't know too much if you don't want to track too much if you want to like give it to someone for doing mutual fund is one of the best option the next best next best option is pms portfolio management services so if you are a little more uh, advanced investor if you are you know having like few crore rupees, maybe you can go into PMS because the minimum ticket size now is 50 lakh rupees. Uh, so that is another option. Or if you feel that you can do it on your own, then you can have a well diversified stock portfolio. Make sure you're not doing two, three, five stocks, at least have 15, 20 stocks, but make sure that you are managing it well. It's not just enough to do stock investing. It should also be done in a right manner, right? So which brings me to the next point that equities can create immense wealth for you in long term make sure your equity portfolio is in right hands often you have that right hand often your hands are not right so just evaluate you know where do you stand in expertise or you know if you are the right person or someone else is a right person for this okay uh, so with that i will close this video uh, thanks for watching uh, if you want to join our telegram uh, official channel just go to this link which is on your screen just make sure you have the telegram app first on your mobile and then go on this link or you can just search jago investor official channel and join it we discuss about personal finance and a lot of financial stuff there uh, 
You can also uh, look at our financial health checkup services and wealth creation services. And don't forget to visit on our website, jagoinvestor.com. With that, we'll close this video and thanks a lot. Best of luck. Bye.